Well, I spent basically my entire high school career, like most other high school kids, just kind of doing everything last minute and a little bit off the cuff. And it seemed to work pretty well for me so far, so staying with that uh, motto for this speech, I woke up this morning getting ready to actually start preparing for what I was going to say today. And then something more interesting came along and I decided to go swimming instead. <laughs> and then, so right about 5.30ish, I decided, against my better judgment, that I should probably write something down. So, on the way over here, I wrote down a few bullet points, and then it'll be a surprise for all of us to see how this goes. So first, I'd like to start with a thank you to the teachers, administration, and the coaches that all just helped and put unlimited amounts of time into helping our academic success. I'd also like to thank my family, friends, and mentors who not only encouraged me during my academic duties, but also, and more importantly, helped transform me into the man that I've become today. And they've helped make sure that I keep God the focus of my life and don't compromise my beliefs and morals for anything. I'd like to thank my extended family for coming all the way up here from Arizona and South Carolina to spend graduation and my birthday weekend with me. And then I'd like to give a special thanks to Logan, who made that uncomfortable and slightly uncoordinated walk down the center aisle with me to begin this. It's something we'll share for quite a while, but hopefully we'll have better memories here coming along soon to get rid of that one. And I'd like to give a very special thank you to my uncle, who made the 14-hour trip up here from South Carolina to attend my graduation, when he didn't even attend his own because he was too busy sleeping in. <laughs> so as I uh, look back over our high school lives, I just realize it's kind of just another cycle of life we go through. In every cycle, whether it be graduating from high school or college, getting married, new relationships, starting a family, or retirement, they all have four distinct stages. We enter as freshmen, and that freshman year, we're nervous. Yet we put up this facade of confidence, trying to show everyone that we truly do fit in and that we do know what we're doing. And as we continue to try to fit in and show everyone that we know what's going on, we continue to fit in less, show how much we really don't know, and just become incredibly annoying along the way. And then we transfer over into sophomore year, our second stage, where no one on the outside really cares anymore what's going on because you're no longer new to this cycle and you're not really getting ready to move on to the next one. And so this is about the time you start to figure out the things that you should have learned freshman year, but you weren't because you're too busy trying to fit in. So you start learning them now. And you also you get rid of those brand name t-shirts as you kind of begin to figure out what your style really is. And then we go over into junior year. What a crazy, exciting year junior year is. They give us, we have to figure out who we are and also make some of the biggest decisions of our life. And that figuring out who we are is just one of the most comical things I think most of us have ever gone through. We have kids that have broken their bones numerous times to decide all of a sudden that, yeah, I think I'll join the Navy SEALs without even thinking about it twice. And we have the, that facial hair that starts coming in, the dreaded patches on the chin and the, that creepy little mustache creeping on the faces of, of all the junior males. And unfortunately for me, I was a little bit of a late bloomer, so I have my creepy mustache coming in right about now, and it's looking pretty good. So if you want to check that out afterwards, just let me know. And then, unfortunately for some people, they decide to mix the long hair, creepy mustache, and the little patches of shit hair all together. And anyone that saw Logan live in junior year knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> and so not only are we trying to figure out who we are, but we also have to make some of the biggest decisions of our lives. Whether you're planning for retirement, you're getting ready to start a family, or like us, we're getting ready to move on to college, they give us these big decisions while trying to figure out who we are. And eventually, though, this awkward and stressful stage of our life will come to an end. And we shift over to senior year, where we start to figure everything out. That long hair either turns into some luscious locks or gets cut off like it probably should be. The facial hair either turns into a full beard or, like mine, it just stays pretty creepy. We should probably shave it off. And we start to just think that we have everything figured out. So we get a little arrogant, and that arrogance creeps up inside of us. And we think we've, we've cracked the code of whatever cycle of life we're in. We figure out where the test days are, and so we know which days to skip so we get an extra day to study. And uh, I think, actually, Logan Lyra knows all about that one as well. And then one time, right when, we, right when we reach the pinnacle of our arrogance, God has this funny way of humbling us and just putting this massive roadblock right in our path. And as we're sitting on our butt, still a little dazed and confused by what just happened, we start to realize that maybe we don't have it all figured out. Maybe there are some lessons that this roadblock could teach us and that people were trying to teach us in the last cycle of our life and we are too hard-headed to listen to them. And so I pray that as we reach these roadblocks and we have people trying to give us advice, 
that we can remember the advice you're giving us and kind of put our ego off to the side and apply these lessons to our lives. So as we get ready to enter the new cycle of our life as freshmen, we can enter as a little more knowledgeable and hopefully, and more importantly, a lot less annoying freshmen as we enter the next stage of our life. And so I just pray that we all remember that we really still have no idea what's going on. And I didn't want to really depart any wisdom on anyone because I don't have any, but it turns out my little seven-year-old cousin has some pretty good nuggets for you. So this is something he told us today that I think you'll enjoy that really struck out to me, or stuck out to me. He's, it pretty much applies to any point of your life. And he said, just remember, if you want to be successful, school comes before cool. And so my name is Connor Van Noyen, and I'm number two in the class, but number one in your hearts. Thank you. <laughs>